What up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 15 online gameplay. Today we are showing week one of the new team we have. Here's a look at uh, the squadron we put together. Now the newer players are Lambert, Peppers, Barry, uh, Flashback, D Hall. Those are the newer guys that I haven't played with yet. Uh, we picked up Golden Ticket Calvin to replace Bird. We played a season with Bird. Wanted to just get somebody different. I was hoping for uh, Ultimate Legend Atwater to come out that weekend, but he didn't. It was uh, Sue and uh, Steve Young. Actually, those guys too. Yeah, both of those guys are in the lineup as well. Um, so we are playing a familiar opponent. Uh, actually, this opponent uh, beat me the day before I played this game. Uh, I randomly matched up against him and he ended up uh, beating me. Pretty good too. Uh, very tough offense. He comes out in pistol bunch tight end. And uh, that formation <laughs> and anything in the Eagles playbook has always given me problems. Like, always. I don't know what it is about those two formations. I just have trouble with it. Um, so, I already figured... Well, right there, we end up running with uh, MJD. We get a touchdown. I didn't notice it was him until I noticed the way he was motioning out. Motioning out his receiver on his pistol bunch. I was like, wait a minute. This is kind of familiar. This is probably the same guy I played uh, yesterday. And, yeah, I think he beat me like 24 to 10. Um... So, uh, right here, we get ourselves a good stop. Third and 11, we end up getting, whenever you play a uh, 4-3 uh, wide 9, you know how randomly you'll just get, like, an A-gap? That wasn't even on purpose. I wish I could send an A-gap purposely through that formation. Sometimes it just happens, hey, that just happened to be one of them. So, we end up getting a stop, and uh, right now, we're in good position to go on ahead and uh, go up two scores. Now, he does get ball at halftime, so by no means is this a really big advantage. So, I'm sure he remembers me as well. I could tell by the way he already lined up in the slot waiting for the smoke screen to happen. As soon as I came out in that formation, uh, that was the first time I lined up in it all game. And he already knew what was coming because I hit him with it a few times the previous game. And uh, once he jumped it, like, I was okay, yeah, this got to be the same guy. It has to be. So uh, we're up 14-0. So uh, here we go. We end up sending a blitz. And unfortunately, we don't get there. But thankfully, he drops the pass right there. Hits me with a little smoke screen. And thankfully, he ends up getting a very bad animation. Third and eight. He goes up top right there. And... Patrick Peterson comes up with the interception, and that right there is big. Now, I definitely want to try my best to make this last possession if I could, but we just so happen to have Thomas just streaking wide open, way too open for us to ignore it, so we end up hitting him over the top. And again, because he gets balled at halftime, he is still in this game. You know, by no means is he out of it yet. Um, he can score back-to-back -back possessions, and then it's just a one-possession game from that point. So this right here is a very, very, very important possession. You know, uh, hopefully we can stop him from scoring. If he does score, I want him. I want it to be quickly. Give me enough time to be able to drive downfield and hopefully get a field goal or some type of points before half. Right here, he ends up just taking off, man. We just end up, I think, playing quarters man-to-man, uh, -man, and we just didn't get any pressure. Another smoke screen right there, and he ends up getting a, a good game. About a minute remaining. 50 seconds left at this point. He goes up top, face catches, and he face caught me to death the game before. Didn't really do it too much so far this game, but uh, he's very good at doing it so we got to uh, keep that in mind as he ends up scoring only 30 seconds remaining so that right there was definitely a, a very very good job of him to be able to waste as much time as possible so i got about 30 seconds at this point i got to try and get something happening right here we end up going to thomas and uh we call a timeout right here i just want to play for a field goal that's all i want to do just try and get myself a field goal to this point we end up running with barry uh we get stopped and I do kick a field goal, but unfortunately for me, the wind was six miles an hour against me, which made me miss. And that right there was extremely, extremely frustrating. Uh, knowing that when I lined up, I seen six miles an hour against me. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. So even full power, you know, uh, that length of a field goal plus the wind against me, bad news. So uh, he's just one real quick score from making it a one uh, possession game. So. And, and he's right back in it at that point. So hopefully we cannot let that happen. Dominic and Sue has been a force in the run game. And that's exactly what I envision, envision him doing. Hits us with the face catch right there. And uh, again, when you don't know it's coming, it, it's very tough to stop. You know, when you got somebody like him who uh, knows how to do it, but he's not abusing it. You know, like some people will do it literally every single play. Um, him, he's just doing it uh, seldomly. And, and it's tough for me to know when it's coming. Fourth and five goes for it. And Eric Berry comes up with the interception right there. Um, I could have done that a lot better. I ran right into him. Definitely bad. 
bad uh, running by me. But uh, nonetheless, man, he comes up with the interception, man. We had him in a short yellow, uh, quick hook zone, and we shaded underneath, and he ends up jumping the route. Uh, right here, we go deep up top over, and um, we came on that same formation with the smoke screen, and I figured he was going to sit on the slot corner that was supposed to be guarding that streak, and he's trying to jump that smoke screen. That's exactly what happened. But he had no over-the-top help. And the guy who was supposed to be guarding the streak, he was using trying to jump the, the smoke screen. And uh, what I hoped happened did happen. So uh, right here, desperation time. He needs to score. He needs to score quickly. So he's going deep up top. Nice little uh, out route right there. Picks up the first down. Fourth quarters here were pretty much... Uh, you know dominating the game at this point, uh, you know up 28 to 7. Hopefully we can keep it going nice Fade route right there. So 28 to 14 at this point. Uh, I want to be conservative I don't want to be too aggressive, you know I don't want to be stopping the clock and complete passes, you know um, I want short passes and I need to stat right there was a bad uh, example of staying in bounds, but uh, I need to make sure I stay in bounds keep the clock going as you see man We got the true clock on trying to get to triple zeros as fast as possible trying to make it tough for him to come back so i'm just running the ball right here you know like i said trying to play conservative third and inches we don't get it and uh fourth and one we decide to settle for a field goal this time the wind is in our favor and we are able to uh kick that field goal with no problem now i think he knows how to do the um the quick uh the instant sack glitch because my offense is rarely under center, rarely. Uh, the game before, uh, my first drive, he stopped me. I was on uh, first and first and go, and I did, uh, I think, like four QB sneaks. And he stopped me. But as soon as I hiked it, I was tackled immediately. And uh, when I did it again this game, he ended up stopping me, like, right away. And uh, maybe, I don't know, if he doesn't know how to do it, then he's just really lucky with stopping QB sneaks. But nonetheless, man, we're up nine at this point. So it's going to be really tough for him to try and come back up two possessions. Uh, right here, just boneheaded play by me. One timeout. Um, he, he has an opportunity of coming. Well, two timeouts. The only opportunity he has of coming back is getting the ball back. So, uh, not the smartest move by me, giving him the ball back where he can score. You know, get some onside kicks going his way. Should have just dove down, took some knees, and, and uh, take the win instead of scoring in that situation. Uh, no need to score right there. I really don't know why we did, but. Uh, right there is a good play by him. I started double teaming the receiver on the outside and I was manually watching uh, that guy and uh, I didn't manually watch him good that play. Not at all. <laughs> not a good not not a good user by me and he ends up scoring right there. So again, he technically still has a chance. You know, all he needs to do is uh, get like an onside kick going or something like that. Goes for the squib and um, thankfully, thankfully Hester comes out of nowhere and just ends up getting the, uh, the ball. So um, Close game. Very good opponent, man. Uh, we end up coming away uh, with the victory. He got us the game before or the day before, and we end up getting him this game. So we are 1-0 and on our new season. Uh, week 2 will be uploaded. Uh, I'm not exactly sure when. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure. But um, again, man, we're going to be back into getting you guys gameplay, uh, hopefully on daily basis. And I got some Madden 16 videos I want to put out soon with, you know, some of the newer news coming out. Look at that. Within, like, five people there. Don't matter. Just yellow, just teabagged everybody. Um, but, again, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, man. It's your boy, GS. We're going to go ahead and be signing out. Peace. Kick the field goal right there, I guess, for a little bit more coins. I don't know. But that's how you start a season, winning 1-0. Let's go. Let's keep the momentum going, fellas.